Okay, folks, in this video, we're going to talk about creating waypoints using the One Boat Network app uh, on the charge screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through a process to where we're going to eventually, this again, Android device, use a SD card, USB-C to standard or mini SD card reader. We also have our scan disk, mini 32 gig card. Let's see if we can get that in focus. I don't know. No. But anyways, 32 gigabyte mini SD. <clears throat> and we're going to use this to then end up taking the waypoints off of the app and putting it on the Solix. And I'm primarily focused on Solix because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of content about that. So if you guys like this type of information, by all means, hit the subscribe button and like. So we're going to begin by going into the One Boat Network app. Go straight into Chart View. And we're going to go down to Gunnersville. So on this map, we're going to just pick an area somewhere down here. Looks like here's a good area. All right, so we've got Smurged Creek. Looks like a nice little drop off right there. So we're just gonna hit it and we're just gonna waypoint it cursor. So there's one, let's do a couple of them. All right, so if I'm planning a trip down here and I'm like, hey, those look like good areas. Let me check these out. Uh, let's make a couple more. Put some more over there, waypoint it cursor, and then we'll, I don't know, just put one right here. Okay, so we created a couple waypoints on the lake. We can see that. Let's create another one just right here, right by this island, right? Boom. So now what we can do is we can go back and we can go look at my data and we can see those waypoints we just created, right? And now that's great. They're on the they're on the app, they're on the map. That we're going there, but we want to be able to transfer this to our Helix unit or Solix unit. In this case, Solix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight all of them, and then I'm going to hit this share button right there. And when I do that comes up with a list and I'm gonna hit, so here's my options, Quick Share, OneDrive, Google Drive, Messenger. I'm just gonna click uh, OneDrive. Okay, so OneDrive's gonna come up and then this is where I put my GPX downloads. Now normally I put them by, like there's my winner, Georgia, but for this case, I'm just gonna save them right to the folder. Really doesn't matter. Okay, so we got those six waypoints saved and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go right here to my folder and then i'm going to go look at onedrive and i can see i've got my gpx downloads and there it is right so now what i want to do is i want to take this file and i'm going to put it on an sd card so we'll put the sd card in here plug it up to the bottom of the phone and what's cool about having it on the OneDrive is now I also have a backup. So just in case I lose this SD card or format the machine, I still got a backup on here. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to, well, ask me if I open it. I don't want to open it. So we're going to copy it. And then it's going to ask me, hey, where do you want to copy it to? So we're going to go back, go back to the main folder. USB storage one, and that's where we want to. This is where we did the Helix download in the other video. So we're gonna copy it here. Boom. Okay, cool. Sorry, so my video cut out. All right, so here's the Solix 15. We've got the files on here, the GPX file. What we're gonna do is we'll go right here, nav data, and you can see in there, there's nothing in there right now. No waypoints, routes, tracks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the card into one of SD slots. Go right here to, go to the second page, go to files. 
And then we've got import option. We're gonna import nav data. And you can see it already finds the GPX file, the one we just created. So we're just gonna select it. Boom. And so imported six waypoints, right? And so we can verify that. We can just go back to the home screen. Let's go look at nav data. And there's the six waypoints we just created. Additionally, we can go, let's go to the map. So that was way down in Gunnersville. So we should see them right there. There they are. So we'll get on them. And there you go. So that was the one right by the island. And then those are the ones right by that submerged road. So this is extremely beneficial if you're going to a new lake and you're just sitting in the hotel and you're like, hey, I want to mark some waypoints and then quickly transfer it to your unit. Now, for Helix users, the process is a little different. We're not going to go through all that. Um, that process was primarily for people who have Android that can hook up a USB to SD card reader and then convert the files to uh, use on a Solix or an Apex. However, you could still transfer those files to a laptop and then use Hummingbird PC. We're not going to go through that process right now. Maybe I'll do that in another video. And then you can then create an export that you can use for an import for Helix. So again, I hope you like this information. Please subscribe. Please like. Thank you.